Hello Commodore fans, this video is a follow-up to the earlier one that I made about the Gang C64 cartridge. There's a few things that I've learned since I did the first video that I wanted to explain. I wanted to highlight all of the features of this cartridge which are shown on the back of the box. First off, it's got an integrated SD to IEC uh, on it, which means you can put files, you can put disk images onto a micro SD card with a modern computer and then play, read those files and play those games on the on the Commodore 64. It's got an eight, eight megabits of EEPROM or maybe that's eight megabytes, I'm not sure, that's filled with all kinds of uh, utilities and programs and things that you can run. It's got all of the functionality of the final three plus cartridge with desktop 2.0. It's got all of the functionality of the gold golden cartridge 13 games pack. It's got most of the functions of an action replay cartridge and it has the real game CBM Asteroids. Um, finally, there's turbo fast loaders and special command support for real drives, the 1541 and the 1581 disk drives. And then there's also, you know, on, on the uh, integrated EEPROM, there's a bunch of diagnostic tools for real drives and for your Commodore. So check this out, I found the Easter egg. This is an NTSC Commodore 64C, which I'm using for the demos here today. Later in the video, I'll also show you an NTSC Commodore 128. I learned how to use the magic key to browse through directories and mount disk images, and I'll show you right now. We hit F7 to get a listing when we first boot up the computer, and this shows all the directories and files at the root of the micro SD cartridge. So I can go up here to a particular directory and I hit the magic key, F5, bam, and we go inside that directory. Now this shows all of the subdirectories that are in there. And so I want to go to this one here, no ice pseudocode, and then I hit the magic key again, F5, and I go inside of that directory. Now that directory on the micro SD card has a disk image in it. And so I put my cursor up to that line with the disk image and I hit F5, the magic key again, and then it mounts that disk image. So now that disk image is mounted and it, and it took a directory so we see what's in there and I can load things. I can, uh... So now we're loading the demo and then F3 to run, that runs the demo. C64 cartridge works with a real 1541 Commodore disk drive. Now this is my NTSC Commodore 64C again, and I have a 1541 drive connected to it. And now this is a little bit inconvenient to hook up because the, the serial cable that comes out of the Gang C64 cartridge is so short. If you had a Y cable or an extension cable, you could make it much nicer and put the drive wherever you want to. But right now I kind of have to have the drive right here so that this cable will connect. 
And so I've got the serial cable from the Commodore going to the 1541 and then from the 1541 to the Gang C64 cartridge. And so now before I could make this work, I first had to change the device number of the Gang C64 cartridge. If you hook it up and there's two device number 8, then it, it won't work. And so you got to change it first. So we go like this, it's arrow X, and then you can select, see before, the Gang C64, the SD2IEC function, which it just calls other here in this device list, that was on number 8. And I selected it by pushing, the, by hitting return, and then I fixed it to number 9. So that made the SD2IEC be on device number 9, and my 1541 is device number 8. And so if I want to select which drive I want to read and write to, I can hit arrow D, and then I can select the 1541, or I can select the SD2 IEC. So I've selected the 1541 drive, and I have a disk that's in here. So I hit F1 to get a directory, and it shows all the stuff that's on there. So I'm going to load Defender here, and I do that. I go up here, hit F5, which is the magic key, and it will load that Defender program. And normally this would take like two or three minutes to load and it's done, right? Bam. So the fast load works. I just hit F3 to run it. And there it is. After I hit reset, let's see which drive we're connected to. So I'm still on this drive here, the, the 1541 device 8. If I want to go back to the SD2 IEC, I hit arrow D. And go down here to other, hit enter. And now, now it's it's uh, showing me what's inside of the SD2 IEC card. See, that's real convenient for running stuff browsing through all the directories on your micro SD card and selecting directories, selecting disks. That's real handy, the way they've designed that. Now I've got the Gang C64 cartridge hooked up to a Commodore 1581 floppy disk drive, which is a, a three and a half inch disk drive. I actually only have one floppy that has anything on it for the Commodore 128, but we're going to see what's on there. I hit F1 to get a directory, and I see that it's Lemmings. So let's... Just use the magic key to load the first thing on the disk, and it loads super fast. And then I run it. And it loaded. It took a long time to decompress everything, but, the, but it hardly spent any time actually loading from the floppy drive. Another thing I noticed is that this 1581 floppy drive is nearly silent. It's, it's very quiet. Especially compared to the 1541, that thing is very loud. Thanks for watching. See you later.